there's a light deep inside, but a layer of fire. Well, I'm in Edinburgh Summer Hall and the film opens 5 p.m. today. We got tickets sold already. Uh, I'm waiting for everybody to get here. I think I was a little bit too early. I think I'm 3 o'clock. Uh, I just wanted to get here, get settled, to see everything's on full time. Um, the DCP is working well and yeah, just to get prepared really. So I can't wait to see you all there. We have got tickets. We appreciate the support of the independent film and I'm liking this venue. It's got really cool vibes. Yeah. So we're sitting up for the Edinburgh screening. So we go come in and go down there. There's a light deep inside, but a layer of fire is covering it. Wish that I could be yeah. yeah. That's what we're that, that's all. I'm so glad you said that. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Just put it out here. We're a fan. Yes. Yeah. 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 Near, near the beginning of the film, you, you had the scene where you went out to the party and you were knocking all the shots back. The band that were playing, uh, was that a real band? What yeah. Was that that were playing? Uh, <laughs> you you have to drink. Yeah. 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 Um, it's available on all the usual platforms. It's, uh, the band is uh, Craig Weir and the Kabbalist at Cavalry from Dundee, so yeah, thank you. There was a, there was a lot of shameless promotion in there. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These so people aren't even managed on t-shirts. Yeah. 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 I just want to get that far, baby. Yes? I see, see the end of the hospital where we are doing the sales. So what set the jack? <clears throat> Where, where was that film? Where was the film? Where, like, where, where was the film? Was that a real film? Was that a real no, prison? It's a place called Ockney, Ockney Street in Glasgow. It used to be cells like in, in the 90s, but they've turned into a community centre. But upstairs, there's some abandoned cells, and they told us, but at night it's actually haunted, so we have to shoot them. <laughs> 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 so, so, imagine on day one of filming, you're told that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was checking the time, hey guys, let's shoot it. <laughs> Black people, we don't like ghosts. <laughs> uh, I need to be out of here. You should, you should gotta get the text. That's why I left Lewis to do some of those texts. <laughs> you don't know, I, I was like, Lewis, you know what we talked about. You should go and get a shot, you know? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, in, it's an actual cell that is abandoned. They leave it for filming because BBC Films there. It's got that sort of design the way like prisoners used to scratch on the wall. It sells the look of the prison. So ah. I thought, why not use that? Throw it. Yeah. It's not pleasant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's what's next for this film? Because I mean, it's we've all we're all agree it's a brilliant film. You know, it deserves to be seen as wide as it can. What, what, what's the big plan for this movie? So we've just left Sweden, so it's going to show in Aberdeen. We've collaborated with the Aberdeen University. They're going to show it during Black History Month. It's also going to show during Scottish Mental Health Arts Festival. Mm -hmm. And the Scottish Borders going to be showing mm -hmm. Scottish Borders. And we're going to Denmark, Norway. These are all confirmed places that it's going to show. Texas, Rwanda. Texas, uh, oh, Rwanda as well. Rwanda as well, so, oh, and then we've got some streaming platforms that are interested in the film. Well, I've seen the film already, so I can't talk about it yet. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's coming to Netflix. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, we're just putting that through in a few festivals and uh, also showing it in independent cinemas, you know. Uh, we're not doing a theatrical release because we don't have a distributor, but we're trying to work with independent cinemas to screen them uh, in, in different parts of the world. But we open to anybody who wants to support in any way or showcase it in any way. We've got people we're working with in London. Uh, who, it's like a charity that is trying to help people get off drugs and stuff like that. So they go in touch with me like they have this festival and they want to show the movie to encourage people who deal with these things. So we're collaborating with organizations like this to get the picture to different people, to get the message to people. Because there's, there's different messages in the film uh, that could help transform people's lives. Yeah. yeah so what what mm -hmm. is the the underlying messages that you want people to take away from them from this film? This seems like a it's a human story. story. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like 
sometimes you make decisions to go and watch a movie and I feel like with this film I hope that people will go and their lives are transformed and have to watch it because it's a real human story everybody knows about adoption everybody knows about racism you know, there's friendship there's you know all these things that are quite mm -hmm. human that are in the story I hope that people can pick up their little messages that will make them transform at the end Oh, there's one or two just want to keep it just for the close, yes. Uh, quick question please, can I buy your question? I um, really enjoyed your movie. I'm old enough to remember the, uh, the films of um, Bill Forsyth, did a lot of good Glasgow films in the 80s and 70s and whatnot, and things seem to go a little bit quiet after that as small faces came out and whatnot. How can you, can you comment on the health of the Scottish and Glasgow sort of film scene? Is it, is it, is it a lot out there? Is it thriving? Is there good projects for you all to do? Um, is this the start of, start of maybe a, a big upturn in and the success of Scottish film, would you say? And how do you feel about that legacy and and how how how, how able the actors able to keep keep themselves at work and how healthy is, is the film scene? It's pretty scary at the moment with the strikes in America, I would say, mm -hmm. and it's affecting a lot of people. And I, I will not say this because I run an independent studio. I feel like independent studios now uh, work with a lot of independent filmmakers and actors who are benefiting from that. So for the future, it's pretty scary, it's hard to know, but mm -hmm. having films like these that are independently made still gives an opportunity to us as filmmakers and actors who are coming to get this opportunity to get things going. But looking at how like Hollywood is coming to shoot here, mm -hmm. there's a huge potential to like work Glasgow, Scotland could be for big films if we just allocated funds to help. Independent studios, independent actors, I think the future will be bright, but I, I can't tell, but I, what I know is like I'll keep investing in film here. I believe like even if my films are big enough, I'll still have a studio in Scotland and keep working with this local talent and build from there up to reach in the world. So there's hope, there's hope because it's things filming here, uh, but you can't tell with the strikes as well. I'll let Craig comment to anyone else, but it's pretty <laughs> scary. I was meeting with a friend yesterday and she said that she has no work. In, in the film industry because of the strikes in America yeah. and she was telling me about how this friend of her this actor who's quite famous on The Rig, the one on Amazon mm -hmm. she had stopped filming until they raised her fees and now they agreed with the agreement but she's back to filming but the whole production had stopped because they're not paying her so imagine those are the top actors imagine now people who are upcoming it's pretty scary it's pretty scary so it's hard to tell uh, yeah, and certainly as an actor's perspective uh, on Scotland, um, the, it, certainly London is still the, the place to be as such, and even for productions they often look for London actors to be cast in main roles uh, in Scottish productions quite often. And uh, with the, the we've had Indiana Jones filmed in Glasgow. We had Batman um, mm -hmm. a few years ago, World War Z. I'm sure there's been a lot more since then. So we're seeing that, and maybe some new studios being built. So I'm hoping with that and with quality independent cinema as well being brought out, mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. it creates a bit more of a buzz and <coughs> work around uh, Scotland. And s suddenly they start looking. Oh well. Maybe we'll cast a Scottish actor in this Scottish <laughs> production. <laughs> that might be cool. <laughs> and I guess that's why it's important for independent studios to create these films, because uh, you don't know who's watching what's up there. And now they can see Scottish actors in mm -hmm. action, and then they're mm -hmm. able to hide it. But if, if we have people like yourselves who come to support independent films, that helps us to keep creating. And sometimes it's more about what's the next thing, because if someone sees Alex or, you know, Paul or, you know, Craig or Junior in a film and they're like, oh, actually we think they can fit on this bigger production. These small films could help land them bigger roles and for me, get me a bigger directing, you know, um, job. So it's just those little things. Just having the audiences in Scotland supporting these independent film studios, it's really important, you know, for the future, I think. You can't just keep relying on the bigger studios because they always go to London. But if you can create our own little... Hollywood here, they can always look. Mm. You know, well, there's been a lot of talk of investment in Edinburgh yeah. um, from, from the Sean Connery Bond film studios and things, so mm. hopefully there yeah. will be hope for the future of filming. Well, it's been absolutely fantastic to, to have you guys, and, and I really do hope that 
this gets wide, it starts to spread internationally and gets the, the, the audience and the claim it deserves them. My whole life I felt different. I thought that if I came here, I wouldn't stand out as much. Apparently, I still do. You don't have to hate. Just be you. Michael, meet our new roommate. Huh. No handshakes here, mate. Okay. You read newspapers? Yes. Man, what century are you from? What has happened to you? I'm so sorry. What's up?